Now this next lady is impressive. Few journalists braved the front line of the war in Iraq with the territory simply too dangerous to reach. But Sky producer and army reservist Lorna Ward was called up to lead a camera crew of other trained soldiers to film the action at the heart of the war. She gave us this exclusive account of her experiences. It's time to get out. We're waiting for a helicopter to take us out of a dangerous situation. I'm at the front of the picture organising the combat camera team. Our photographer, Corporal Ralph Merry, is to my left. We'd been filming at a technical college in Basra. The visit cut short after a mortar attack was launched by local militia. Here, British soldiers are not so lucky. After an attack on a patrol, casualties are airlifted away. We're witnessing the kind of emergency medical evacuation British forces carry out on a daily basis. The infantryman on the left has been hit by shrapnel. Doctors say his adrenaline kept him conscious throughout. Part of our job as the combat camera team is to make sure that the work of British troops here in Baghdad and also in the Basra province gets back to the UK press. <laughs> Our job took us to the front line, facing the same risks as every other soldier. Here, we're on foot patrol in a notoriously volatile district of Baghdad. We're the, we're the front people in the American lot, OK, so be careful. As always, I'm the eyes and ears for my team. Cameraman Corporal Andy Holmes films as we attempt to gather intelligence from the locals, my hand on his shoulder to warn of dangers he might not be able to see as easily as me. simply too dangerous for civilian television crews from channels like Sky to have cameras in Iraq on key operations all the time. So the combat camera team gathers footage like this and makes it available to all the media. And for us that means all kinds of operations, day and night. This patrol was checking for roadside bombs before a resupply convoy came through the next day. You can go on patrol for hours and not see anything at all. We've now been out for about an hour, it's about five in the morning, um, soon be coming up to dawn. And on this patrol with the RAF regiment, um, they spotted illuminating rounds being sent out by our own artillery. And they're obviously trying to identify something on the ground. The combat camera team has been a key part of our communications efforts here in southeastern Iraq. The role of the team is to go to places where other media can't or won't go and to obtain footage that would otherwise never be seen. I'm on the right of the picture here. As Andy films, I'm looking out for any possible threats. We carry the same weapons as the other soldiers and if we come under attack, we're expected to fight alongside them. My four months in Iraq gave me a unique opportunity as a woman to work in a combat role. A journalist and a soldier armed with a camera and a rifle. And she's here now, back from the battlefields. Um, just before we uh, chat to her, uh, let me just tell you, James Purnell is going to be the new Secretary of State for the Department of Work and Pensions. We had sort of hinted at that uh, with... Uh, John Craig uh, just a short time ago. So he's presently the Culture Secretary. He previously worked in the Department of Work and Pensions. He is the new Secretary of State for the Dep Department of Work and Pensions. Still waiting to hear who's going to be the new Welsh Secretary. We'll find out and we'll uh, break it to you first here on Sky News. So do stay tuned for that. Meantime, Lorna's with us. Welcome back. Thank you. What's it feel like to be back? Uh, surreal, actually, very strange. Um, you're in a very, you're in a sort of cocooned environment out there, and it's it's a very different world uh, for everybody serving in Iraq and Afghanistan. Um, and you're you are constantly focused, constantly on the ball. So it's it's very strange to come back, and it's quite difficult to relax. Um, How dangerous is it? It has its moments. Um, it's uh, obviously it's still violent. Um, the camp that we, the main, the contingency operating base in Basra still does get attacked, uh, but far, far less than it did uh, just a few months ago, to be honest. Um, and when you go out on the ground, you've got to be focused. You've got to know your drills, and you've got to look after each other because there is a risk of, of um, roadside bombs. There is a risk of attack. And yes, patrols do get hit, but again, far less than they, they used to. Um, and at least now the British forces do have 
on the camp, better uh, protection for the troops when we do get attacked. Um, and when we're out on the ground, we've got extremely good armoured vehicles which can withstand an awful lot. Um, so just only during the time I was there, although we did suffer casualties, they were relatively minor. Um, so it's a lot better. And it means that we can now concentrate on mentoring Iraqi security forces, going out and carrying out training with them, doing joint patrols, uh, and also on, on trying to help uh, Basra rebuild its, its, its economy. So going out to schools, to water projects, um, to various sites across the Basra province um, and helping them get back on their feet so that they can in the long term um, rebuild their, their country. Did you feel like a woman in a man's world at times? I think any, any woman who joins the armed forces, an institution like the armed forces, uh, would be naive to, to, you know, to think that there weren't going to be challenges because you're a woman. Having said that, um, particularly when you're on the ground with the infantry, which is probably the most extreme um, you can get, having said that, uh, I had an absolutely fantastic time. And I think as long as you turn up in the right equipment, um, you, know how, you, know, you know your drills, you can take care of yourself, you're fit, um, and you know how to handle their sense of humour as well, which can sometimes be um, interesting. Um, I think as, as long as you've got all those factors, they take you in, and I was accepted as part of the patrols um, without any problem. There were, there were a couple of situations which were, sort of made, me, made me chuckle that were definitely down to the fact that I was a woman. Um, on one occasion, we were going out of the, the relatively safe green zone in Baghdad, um, in Humvees, on a, uh, a joint US uh, and British uh, patrol. And as we were going out into the streets of Baghdad in the middle of the night, um, all I could hear, I had headphones on, so I could hear the conversation over the radio between the commander of the vehicle I was in and the commander of the vehicle ahead of me. And all I could hear was them saying, so the female captain, uh, where, where, where is she going to sleep tonight? And the female captain, uh, what facilities do we have for her? And I could hear this going on, and all I could think was, we're driving through some of the most dangerous streets in the world. It's the middle of the night. They're having to use night vision to find their way through the streets. And their biggest concern is where I'm going to have facilities. And it just, it was complete, it was very surreal. Um, and obviously we got over the problem, no, pro you know, no, no problem when we got there. So. But you're back safe and sound. It's fantastic to see you. And thank you also thank for you. that report. Very insightful. We appreciate you uh, taking the time to cut it for us and also to come in and tell us about it. And <laughs> thank welcome you. back. Thank you very much. Lorna Ward, thanks very much indeed. So James Bunnell is the new Secretary of State for Work and Pensions. All the very latest on that in just a moment. Sky Movies Premier.